He's gonna pull this out. Can everybody here pretend they're an angel and sing? <laughs> okay, ready? Grab it, dude. Again? <laughs> you guys can do better than that. I want everybody to sing it. Camera dudes, everybody. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> So first of all, I take off the red cock. Now you you guys sell rolled rib cap. So when did you guys put that in the catalog, or when did that um, ever happen? Because I mean, I've never seen that well, before. Well, I mean, it's about using as much as we can out of the animal. And yeah. And I say not a lot of call for that, so we you just you made rolled a product. It. Yeah. You made a product. Yeah. Rolled rib cap. Get it, man. That'll, that's that's a good little like holiday treat, any day treat, weekend treat. Tuesday night tree. So a lot of times I work on weekends, yeah. so I, uh, I prefer to, I can't do Sunday roasts. So I like a Monday roast or a Wednesday, Wednesday roast, so I'll get like, you know, a full, you know, a rump heart, or I'll, or I'll get a full, you know, nice like, you know, chicken or a beautiful pork, pork leg, pork shoulder. And that's when I do the full, all the things, yeah. roast potatoes, but I do a midweek. Everybody thinks, Sunday roast should be weekend. You know, uh-uh, my day, kids. Dad, can we do a full, you know, roast beef on a, on a Wednesday? I'm like, heck yeah. <laughs> Tuesday night's basketball night, Wednesday night is, you know, roast night. Oh, look no, at that. This uh, well, this is, he's gonna, he's gonna be pulling out. So a lot of the chefs I work with, they, their favorite meat is the stuff between the ribs. And they always say the sweetest meat is next to the bone. So when we went out to one of your restaurants last night that you yep. guys supplied to, uh, we, we ordered a coat de boeuf so we can have that meat next to the bone. Yeah. It is the most gorgeous steak and it's because of all that fat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a really cool way of cooking ribeye. Yeah. So I like to get like about a two and a half, three inch ribeye. Yeah. And then I get a frying pan and then I smack it. And that way I kind of release like, you know, when you, because you've got all that lovely fat right here. Yeah. And on this side here, you want to do that one? Did you, did you do that side too? Is that okay? No, no, no. Because okay. you got a bit more. Yeah. There we go. There's that, there's that thumbprint of fat um, that we're looking for. And so if I, uh, if I get a big hunk like this, I'll get a frying pan, I'll smack it. And that way I kind of, Almost. well, you make more surface area. Yeah. So you've shortened the cooking time and then you kind of, you get little kind of gaps in here and you, you, you allow that fat to render. And then I'll just take, I'll go in here and I'll just kind of cut into it. I'll cut into the outside. And that way, again, I give that fat a head start. Yeah. So the salt can get in there, that fire, that glistening caramelized fat. And that is why that is the best steak on the cow. Definitely. That's Dave's my favorite steak. What's your favorite steak? Comment below. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fat. Woo! Fat is flavor. But the thing is, you s I, I gotta be careful when I say fat is flavor because it also means what the animal eats. You know, some, I've had steaks where the fat just doesn't taste of anything. It just tastes of like nothing. But a grass fed animal, there's a better taste. Exactly. There's That's a dynamic you taste. Grass -fed. Yeah. It give me grass fed any day. That's why I live in England, you know? That's why I live in the UK, because I get to eat the best meat in the world. And this is why these guys import um, meat to all over the world, you know? The, France thinks, I mean, I'm not trying to diss France, because I love France, <laughs> believe me, I love you guys. Je suis désolé, pardon, je m'excuse. But you guys don't do the dry aging that these guys do, and that's why you guys are selling meat to France, yeah. to the best right there, because they want the best meat. That's, that's a testament exactly, when, yeah. when, when, you know, Scotland sending meat Jesus, to yeah. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so show them this. So my favorite chefs on the planet, this is their favorite bit of meat. It's that lovely meat in between uh, the rib bones. Oh my gosh, but you can actually order uh, rib trim uh, from Donald Russell. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. You guys do it all. Do all. There's no waste. <laughs> None at all. Yeah, and then the trim from the ribeye, like you, you saw some of that trim coming off, but the good trim, they'll make burgers with it. That's decadent. Yeah. Times infinity. They, you do a fillet burger, you do. We do ribeye burger, we do fillet burger, we do all oh the burgers. Oh my gosh. That's a proper steak burger. Yeah.
Nice. Nice. All right, can we get a round of applause for Dave right now? Oh! I'm not worthy. I'm going to drop a knee like it's Game of Thrones. I'm not worthy. Don't send your dragon on me. Okay.